Okay, so to create this easy wreath, you're simply going to need one of these wooden beaded uh, wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. This is from Crafter Square. You're also going to need a pack of their greenery and one of their uh, bunny headbands and a floral bouquet of mums or any floral of your choice. Now this DIY is inspired by a Snapchat filter and it's the easiest, most simple DIY that you'll ever see because I'm simply just going to be taking some of these greenery picks and first off, I'm going to start by removing all the tags from all of these things, which I should have done before starting. And for starters, I'm going to be cutting off the bunny ears because I'm not going to be needing this headband portion. Although they're not that difficult to maneuver, you're going to want to get yourself a pair of wire cutters to clip off. They have a wire stem inside the ears to keep their shape. So you're going to want to keep that. We're going to, in a minute, we're going to glue that together so that we can keep that wire inside because we want to keep the shape of the ears intact. Okay, so to assemble our reef, we're going to start by this little clasp here that's holding the reef together. We're going to want to camouflage that and I'm going to go by the beads as my markings and I'm going to count three in on each side and that's where I'm going to place uh, each bunny ear on each side so they could be symmetrical and to do so I'm just going to add a ton of hot glue and hold it into place and pray for the best because this is the first time I'm doing this so we're going to go ahead and we're going to count the three in right there as such and we're going to hold it in place okay so obviously you're going to mirror the same exact thing on the opposite side and you're going to want to use a lot of glue you got to be very generous and i did go ahead and turn it around and apply extra glue in the back just to hold it in place because these beads spin the weight of the ear has a tendency to spin, but we're going to hope and pray for the best that once we add our floral for the crown to it, you know, it'll hold itself into place a little bit better. So I'm just going to come in and do the same exact thing that I did on that side by applying a ton of glue and we're going to count the three in and do the same thing. Okay, so here we have it after both ears are glued on and up close, it's not the prettiest. It's not going to be the loveliest uh, piece of artwork you've ever seen because it's got a ton of glue on both sides, but we're going to work with that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with some of these here greenery picks and we're going to try to camouflage some of that glue. Okay, so the best way that I see that I can possibly get this on would be to just like put a, a bead or a line of hot glue here and glue it on directly to the bead so that it could be sturdy and then do the same thing on the opposite side because we're going to cover it with some of the florals, but we want it to be able to adhere to something. I can't put it in the middle because there's nothing really to grab it except for that little piece of metal. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to adhere it to this area right here. And we're just going to simply go ahead and add a bead of hot glue as such and just take it and attach it there and hold it into place. And now we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. This way we can get our little um, foliage out of the way. Okay, here's what we got. Now that we got our foliage adhered to the uh, wreath crown with the uh, bunny ears. And so now all that's left to do is to take some of these numbs and I'm simply going to pull them off of the stem and I'm probably going to need to cut that little nub down some too because I want it to lay as flat as possible. All right, so I cut that nub down as far as I can without having the uh, 
floral fall apart and I'm just gonna come in now and I'm gonna add a dollop of glue to that nub there that we cut down and I'm gonna start by gluing this one first and foremost right smack in the center there because we want to cover up any flaws that we have okay so that's our center one glued down and I went ahead and put a little extra glue on the back to keep it in place so now to make this uh symmetrical I'm just going to go ahead and the same thing I cut down that nub so that I could glue it flush and I'm going to put one over on each side and we're going to call this a finished project and to do so i'm going to just add that dollop of glue as such making it very generous just like i did with the first one i'm going to put it down right on top of that fern leaf and hold it there and press it down and so far i like the way it's looking i'm not going to glue i thought i was going to have to glue these little um fern stems to the side but I kind of like the way they look dangling and the fact that I could um reposition them it's an A plus so now I'm going to come ahead go on ahead and glue the last one okay two down one last one to go to make this a completed project and I'm just going to nestle it right inside there along with the other two guys that I put first and this just doesn't it kind of remind you of that old Snapchat uh, crown filter that everybody used to go goo goo gaga over. I'm just loving the way that it looks and I will be proud to display this on my door this holiday season and I hope you enjoy it as well. <laughs> Okay, so for this next super simple craft, I have one of these here 12 packs. They just labeled as decor from the Dollar Tree Crafter Square section. And they're these little natural bunnies. And then they also have this comes in a two pack of wood slices. So I'm going to take one of these here wood slices and I'm going to glue some of these bunnies all the way around. And it doesn't get any simpler as that. And to do so, I'm going to take my trusty hot glue gun. I suppose you could use wood glue or a more permanent adhesive, but I don't mind uh, temporary. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to adhere it to my wood slice while I have it laying flat because I want it to be able to stand. Next, I'm going to come in directly across from the first one that I glued down, and I'm going to do the same thing. Just add a dollop of that glue, and I'm going to hold it into place directly across from the first one. Now, directly across from the first two, I'm going to go ahead and glue the next one, and the next, and so on and so forth. You got it. This is just so that they can be you know, as evenly spaced as you will as possible, you know, without actually measuring because I usually just eyeball everything. So I'm just going to come in and hold this one into place right there as such. So this is what it looks like with the first four glued down into place. And of course, while I had the opportunity to squeeze my glue gun inside, I did go ahead and add a little extra glue for reinforcement because your girl is just extra like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and come in in between every single bunny. I'm going to add another bunny this way. There's evenly spaced bunnies all the way around if you get my my drift okay that's that one so now i'm gonna come ahead and glue the other one next to it and so it's very repetitious and anybody can do it this is a simple craft that you can do with your kids your grandkids a child could do it by themselves um, i mean it's really simple and here you have it, guys. That's how simple and easy it was to put together this stinking adorable little candle holder. It's big enough to fit one of these little smaller Dollar Tree candles inside. And I'm loving the natural aesthetics of it. You know, the wooden rabbits against that natural wooden slice looks very organic to me. 
and it's gonna lend itself very well with my neutral decor and I can't wait to style it. And I hope you enjoyed how simple and easy this was to put together and be inclined to put together one of your own. Okay, next up for this simple craft, I have for you one of these little um, wooden houses from the Dollar Tree and one of these peak posters. This is called Color Ups and it's from the Dollar Tree. Get it at the kids section. It comes with a pack of markers inside and everything for you to uh, make your little poster. But I'm going to be cutting this out to the shape of my house and putting it inside. All right, so the first thing I did was center the house more or less where I want it to be, and I traced around it. And now I'm just going to cut out along those lines that I traced to then try to fit it into the center. Okay, so now that I have it cut down to the size of the house, and you could easily make this a double-sided project and do something on this side. I didn't make it fit inside here because I was going to lose some of that wordage of the word peep, so I opted to turn it around to the back. And so now before I glue it down with my trusty old uh, school glue stick, I'm going to go ahead and paint the chimney black because um, that part is exposed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it with just a little dot of this black chalkboard glue so that we can get this project done. Okay, so now that we got our little roof painted, we're just gonna come in with our trusty glue stick and I'm actually running low on my Elmer's glue stick. Time to re-up, but we're gonna go ahead and try to get as much of this on here as possible. Sorry for shaking the camera. Hopefully that's enough. If not, we'll add a little bit of extra hot glue to do the job. And we're gonna go ahead and adhere that to our house like such and get it all nice and heat glued out. And that's it guys, that concludes this project. It was that simple and easy. All I did was uh, cut this little poster decor piece down to size, painted the little roof and glued it down. And voila, there you have it. Perfect size little piece to pop inside of a tear tray or to display in any vignette really. And I suppose you can go ahead and color it with the markers supplied. But I'm going to leave well enough alone because I like the way it looks just like that. I like the, the black against the wordage of the black peeps and the neutralness of it and the color that it already has in it. It's more than enough for me and will go perfect with my decor. And I hope you like it. All right, so for this next super easy DIY craft, I have one of these blank signs from the Dollar Tree and it's just open to your own creation to do whatever you want with it. And that's what I love about them. I also have this here metal word and this came in a three pack with the words happy Easter and blessings. This is from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit this with a coat of this here uh, Craftwise chalk port paint. This is also from the Dollar Tree because I don't want to keep it that shiny metal. So I'm just going to go over it with the black and then allow it to dry. Okay, so now that my metal word has had a chance to set up and dry, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to glue it on to my board and I already have an idea, a dry fit of where I want it to go. Obviously I want it to go on this slat. Now I have to put it there because I'm a little bit impatient and this is not exactly 100% dry, but uh, we're gonna go with the flow. And so I'm gonna just Try to glue this down without burning the crap out of myself because, you know, metal and hot glue don't always go together the best. Okay, so we got our word glued down and I'm okay with that. So then I have this here rub on transfers from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use these two little pieces of greenery underneath the word farmhouse and I think I'm going to put it up here above the word Easter. Okay, so I cut them out and I'm just gonna put them right up here like such. 
and I'm gonna leave them the way they are together like that. I'm not gonna cut them this way. I'm sure to get them, you know, straight. All right, so I feel like the placement is good. So I'm gonna be using, this is just a uh, incense burner. And I'm gonna be using this to rub it on. Uh, you could use a popsicle stick. You could use one of those, uh, like the Dollar Tree Cricut scrapers. You can use your fingernail, anything you want, but I'm going to try using this because it's a little bit harder. All right, time for the moment of truth. And we're going to try to peel this up and see if the uh, incense stick worked. And so far that side, you got to go slow because with these things, you never know. Okay, there you go. I'm happy that the way it transferred. I'm glad I used this uh incense sticks so that's a tip for you guys if you have one of these incense sticks laying around they work great for those um dollar tree transfers so now what's next to do is i'm gonna glue four of these bunnies that i used from that 12 pack on the uh candle holder that we made in this video so i'm gonna use the remainder of the bunnies on this uh little sign and call it a finished project and to do so i'm simply just going to use my trustio hot glue gun again and we're going to glue these on just as such sorry i had to change my glue stick because it ran out so i just began with the two corners i glued one bunny on each corner and now it's just a matter of gluing the final two and then we could deem this a uh, finished project. So we're gonna go ahead and put that one right there. And now the last one. And that, my friends, concludes this project. That's it, that's all she wrote. And I'm just loving the way it came out, very neutral. I'm loving the way the uh, Bunnies, like I said, the natural bunnies look against this uh, makeshift shift lap. I love that it matches. The, it's the exact identical color as the frame. I love the way the black pops off of it. I love everything about it, and I hope you love it too. All right, so for this next DIY craft, I have one of these uh, Easter egg wood decor blocks. This is from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna be taking some of this Waverly antiquing wax. And it's a little on the thick side because it's getting old, I think. So I'm just gonna come and I'm gonna pour a little bit in here because a little bit goes a long way. And then I'm gonna hit it with some um, water just to thin it out a little bit because I want it to be like a uh, consistency of a stain, if you will. So after doing that, I'm just gonna come in with the, this is just a regular baby wipe. And I'm just gonna do my little uh, wave baby wipe technique. And I'm gonna spread it all over this egg until I get the coverage that I want. Okay, well, you look how great that antiquing wax application came out. I mean, that antiquing wax is fabulous. It looks just like it stands up against the high quality stains out there. And the best part about it is that there's no smell. It's odorless and it dries really quickly. So I did go ahead and treat both sides. My personal choice of preference. You don't have to. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I have this here pack of stencils that I actually pur purchased from the Target Bullseye Playground a couple of years ago. I had it in my stash, never really knew what to do with it. So we're just gonna go ahead and bust it out today. And it does come with four different uh, patterns. And I chose uh, this geometrical triangular pattern. And what I'm gonna do is instead of using the brushes that they provide, I'm gonna go ahead and go with these uh, Dollar Tree sponge pouncers because these sponge dabbers, I have a lot more confidence in than these chippy brushes. I don't trust myself with the chippy brush. Now, since these stencils don't have any adhesive backing, I'm afraid of it slipping and sliding. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and tape it down with some of this here painter's tape so we can get started. Okay, so now that I got my stencil all nice and uh, taped down there with my painter's tape, I'm gonna go ahead and come in with some of this here Craftwise chalkboard paint from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna go ahead and squirt some out here. And remember that when you're doing any kind of uh, stenciling, less is more so you're always going to want to dip and then blot and you're going to just want to pounce around the uh, stencil gently and you could always go back and apply more okay so never over saturate your stencil because it's just going to bleed underneath and i'm going to continue to go around all of these geometrical uh triangular shapes okay so here's a look what we got going on after pouncing this uh little pouncer all over the stencil and it's still uh drying i did go over some of them um one more time so now we're gonna go ahead and peel up the stencil and hope for the best hope that there's no uh bleeding okay so for the moment of truth and here's what we got going on and now we could rinse out our stencil and reuse it so these are our triangular shape we're going to let that dry up okay so here's our design pattern after it's had a chance to dry here's our little stencil all cleaned up and ready to go again so now what's next to do is i have these three packs of faux leather from the dollar tree crafter square section and i found them in three different colors a white a black and like a brown they also had it in a navy blue but i didn't get that one and so now what i'm going to be doing is i also have hold on a second so i also have some of these here um Easter eggs that come in a pack of two and they just have like this uh, craft paper on top with a little hole cut out but we're gonna remedy that so here's our um, faux leather so all I did was I traced out the uh, shape of the egg onto the uh, faux leather and I thought I was recording and I obviously wasn't so I went ahead and cut one shape off camera without realizing that I was off camera but here is the uh, shape so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the other two eggs in the other two uh, colors so I'm just going to continue to cut right inside that um, line that I traced out for the egg and this is the back side this is the front side and that's how it's going. So I'm going to continue to cut this out and I'm going to do the same thing with the other uh, black fold leather and then we're going to continue on. Okay, so now that we have our pieces of faux leather all cut out, we're simply just going to adhere them to that little egg. And to do so, we're going to be using our Elmer's school glue stick and I'm just going to liberally and generously apply a nice amount to the actual um, egg itself so that now i don't know how well this is going to stick obviously this is my first time doing this and i've never adhered the faux leather to um you know this uh makeshift mdf board so i don't know how well it's gonna stick but i rather experiment with the glue stick than with hot glue because hot glue shows visible um bubbles if you will so i'm gonna go ahead and uh attach this to my egg as such and try to align it to the best of my ability because one thing about the um school glue stick is that you know you have a chance to reposition it if you need to really quickly before it dries up and sets all right so here's a look at that first egg so now i'm gonna go ahead and do it uh two more times with the other two eggs by simply repeating the same exact steps so i'm not gonna bore you with the same thing 
Okay, so here's a look at those multiple colored eggs that we created. And now you know why I chose not to go all the way down with the geometric pattern and the triangles because I knew at some point they were going to be covered. So now it's just a matter of adhering them to my decor board here. And I wanna try to glue them in a way that uh, should I choose not to hang it from the hanger, I could always just set it on a little picture decor easel and stand it up if I wanted to on a bookshelf to display it however I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, and to do so, I'm simply just gonna come in with some hot glue in the back of this little egg here, and I'm gonna blast it with the glue and adhere it to our board here. And um, this will ensure that we should be able to um, stand our egg up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same with this one and put it right on top. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same with our last board, but mainly concentrating on the areas that it's gonna make contact um, with the other two eggs because it's not really gonna make that much contact in the center there. And we're gonna place it down as such and hold it into place. All right, so now we have some of these um, wooden beads from the Crafter Square and this is a 24 piece pack and they already come stained. So I don't have to do anything to them. And this is the original jute that the egg came with. So all I'm going to do is hang it right back through there in case I want to um, hang it to the wall. And then I'm going to attach this and that's all she wrote. I'm going to call this a finished project. So to do so, I'm simply just going to take this and thread it through the little hole as such. Once we thread it through, we're going to feed it through that loop and pull tightly. And so now you have your hanger attached and now we're gonna go ahead and feed a couple of these beads through. Now that we fed a couple of beads through, we can just go ahead and tie it off in a knot and that'll be our hanging portion of this DIY so that we can, um, if we choose to, we can hang it from this little loop on top and it has this cute little beads on it. And that's it, that's all she wrote, guys. That'll conclude this uh, project. Sometimes less is more. I mean, feel free to decorate your eggs, add a little bit more, um, you know, if you wanna be extra, add extra stuff to it. But I like it just the way that it is and it's gonna lend itself great to the rest of my decor and I like it and I hope you like it as well. Okay, so I changed my mind about the extraness. I decided that it needed a little something more. So I found a pack of these Crafter Square stickers in my craft stash and it's just a two piece and they're these little like boho feathers. And I just thought that the colors lended themselves really nicely to this project. So I went ahead and I placed the one there in the center of the egg. And now I'm thinking of putting um, this one on the top over here, maybe perhaps cutting it in half. I don't know, I'm gonna play with it a little bit and see how I get it to stick. It always amazes me how a couple of simple stickers could just elevate a project. And with that said, I can now deem this officially a completed project and wholeheartedly say, that I am just pleased with the outcome. Okay, next up, we're gonna be taking this little cutie from the Dollar Tree, and we're gonna begin by uh, just removing this tag, and this just has like a little um, shoestring plastic on it, so there's no knot or anything to untie. You basically just slide it through and put it to the side if you might wanna reuse it. And then I'm gonna be taking some of this here, uh, Waverly Antiquing Wax, and I'm just gonna pour a little into my little uh, plastic thingamajiggy here, and not too much because a little goes a long way. 
And it is a little bit on the thick side, so I'm gonna give it a couple of squirts of some water just to thin it out a little and make it like a stain consistency. And then I'm gonna take one of my trusty old baby wipes. Then we're gonna take that Dove uh, baby wipe and we're gonna hit it with some of that antiquing wax and we're gonna give this little guy some love. And we're just gonna spread it on as such until we give our little bunny full coverage. Okay, here's a look at our stained and completely dry bunny. And I did go ahead and do the back side as well, just because I like it to look, you know, finished. And so now to move on, what I have here is one of these rows of uh, permanent vinyl from the Crafter Square. And these are the vinyls that you can use with your cutting machine, but you know, this to show that you don't always only have to use them with your cutting machine. So um, I did go ahead and um, so I went ahead and traced out with my pen the bottom half of the bunny. We, we don't need to trace the whole bunny. And so now I'm going to go ahead and cut out that pattern that we traced. And you're going to treat this uh, vinyl just like if it was, you know, craft paper or any other kind of uh, vinyl, nothing special. You're just going to follow that pattern that you trace and continue to cut until you get the, you know, the entire bunny shape out. All right, so now that we cut out that pattern that we traced onto our vinyl, now it's time to simply adhere it and we're just gonna peel off that backing. And what I like to do is fold a little piece here like that and start in one corner and just try to, you know, line up the little uh, feet pads there as such and position it as such. This way I can slowly pull back, you know, the uh, carrier sheet to adhere it flat and get the least bubbles possible. So as you see, I'm pulling back that carrier sheet and while I'm pulling on it, I'm smoothing it out with my fingers on this side. And I'm just going to continue to do that until I get it completely covered. And if you see, it's giving me a nice smooth finish and I don't have to worry about it shifting. And now we have it completely transferred. Okay, so now that we have that adhered, this is what it's looking like. So now I have some of this here rickrack um, ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And so I have a piece here cut off. And so I'm not the best at cutting straight, even lines. So I'm not comfortable with the way that edge looks. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put just a little trim on top. And I'm also going to put like make her like a little choker around the collar. So to do so, I'm just going to be using my super glue gel just because I don't want to bust out the um, hot glue gun. So I'm going to measure it out <clears throat> and cut that piece here. And hopefully we'll have enough for um, both the collar as well as, yes, we do. All right, so I'm just going to add a little dollop to the end. Let's see how I want to do this. Yes, I'm going to add a little dollop of glue right here and then um, flip it around to the back. All right, so if you see what I did, I just add a little bead of glue there and then I'm just going to add a little bit every so often. Um, like I said, a little goes a long way so i'm gonna put some like in the center and hold it down and then i'm gonna go ahead and tack it around the back just like i did in the beginning to start all right so there you have that and this board kind of wants to suck up all of this um super glue gel and it gets all over your fingers so not exactly the brightest idea i've ever had but i digress we're gonna go along with it and we're gonna continue to glue it around the collar just as i mentioned before 
All right, so here's the look at what we got going on and what it looks like front and back. And when I tell you that I have a love-hate relationship with that super glue gel, I'm not exaggerating. So now I have this pack of stickers and these are supposed to be intended to put like on a water bottle or something. But you know me, I'm always thinking outside the box. You don't always only have to use things for their intended purposes. They're stickers, so stickers are stickers regardless of where you put it on. So if I could ever get it out of this package, um, this is what they look like out of the package. So I'm thinking to do like a little floral crown over here on the ears, and then we could complete this pro project. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take that middle row there. And I'm going to go ahead and put it right smack. Well, I'm going to bring it down so that it doesn't go over, I think. Um, hopefully, they're repositionable. Yeah, I think that looks about right. All right, so now that it's pressed into place, all that's left to do is to simply reattach the... Um, original hanger that it came with and to do so i'm simply just gonna place it right back into the hose because it has that little plastic tab on it that keeps it from pulling out and you can feel free to go over this with a layer of mod podge if you feel um that it's necessary but i don't feel it's necessary because where i'm gonna hang it from it's not gonna be touched and that's it that concludes this project guys i'm just loving the way that she came out she's giving she's sexy i like her choker i like her crown i like everything about her i'm loving that i was able to level up this little decor plaque from the dollar tree and i hope i gave you some ideas